video, I was seeing so many people on TikTok and YouTube create life binders. And if you don't know what a life binder is, I had no idea. I heard of vision boards like all the time, but a life binder is kind of like separating your vision board into a bunch of different sections to help kind of tackle how to achieve those goals a bit better. And honestly, I just feel like doing it because it's fun, but I was hearing people say, oh, like that's a lot of work. It stressed me out. If something stressed you out, don't do it. But for me, this is just like a cutesy little project. I'm off from school right now. So I'm kind of just like trying to figure out something to do. And I've been really captivated by like this project, I guess. I was seeing a lot of people do this on TikTok and YouTube, but the one that resonated with me the absolute most is this YouTuber called Fernanda. She made a YouTube video about this. And so I'm going to be kind of like using that video as like how to make this because I've really never made even like a physical vision board before in my life. I was into manifesting so much. I still am, but like not necessarily where every day I say an affirmation where I look at a vision board. It wasn't really like a huge part of my life in that way because I was just stressing out. Like I thought that by the time I was 22, my life was over and I couldn't achieve any of my goals anymore, which is so not true. So recently I've been just trying to calm myself down and realize that I do have time because I'm that person that tries to like achieve everything at once and like after a week just switches to something else. So I'm really trying to like look within myself. A huge thing with this, I saw a lot of people say, oh, like be realistic. Cause like if you don't achieve it, you know, whatever. But the whole thing is like, let's pretend I put a goal on my vision board, on my whatever you call it, okay, that I don't achieve. The whole point of it and the whole point of manifesting is that your life still goes on even if those things don't happen. It's okay if they don't happen, but knowing that they will happen when the time is right. I asked my mom if I had a binder. She said yes. So I had a bunch. I had like in them in green and stuff like that, but I love green, but not for this. It's like a little mini binder with these little hoop things in it. So I'm just gonna like make holes in the different papers that I'm gonna end up by printing out and I'm gonna try to make this really cute. I'm holding this upside down. Okay. There's like a bunch of different sections to it and you kind of make a vision board plus prompts and affirmations for each part of it. So if you want to know how I'm doing this and kind of get a little guide to it, you can definitely continue watching this video. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Let's just get right into it. So for today's video, I think that the app I'm gonna be using is just gonna be Canva because I use that for like other profiles, portfolios, things like that that I have to create and I kind of know around it a bit better and especially on my computer but another app that you can definitely use like pic collage or anything like that what I'm gonna start off by doing is going through my Pinterest Pinterest is like the best app ever genuinely sometimes I just forget about it but it's so amazing it definitely helps me create my vision board or like even things with school my mind is a little bit everywhere all the time making a list of things definitely helps me a lot and also a huge part of this is going to be like setting an intention behind things usually i just love an image and like oh like i wish that was me you know what i mean and that's not the vibe of 2024 the vibes are like i'm going to be able to achieve this goal like i don't care i honestly think that like the only person that has to believe that you can do it is yourself i don't care if you have zero followers if by the end of the year you want 1 million followers someone else did it so why can't you so anyways that's just my thought on that i could literally have a whole fucking podcast episode on how much I hate when people say be realistic. This is my Pinterest. I have so much going on. I have like just crochet inspo because I was really into like knitting and crochet. I literally have a huge bucket behind me, but I haven't done that in a while because you know, like a lot of my other hobbies, they usually last like a week. Then I have my vision board, fashion, just like the pins that I've posted myself, makeup, all that stuff. In the videos that I was watching, obviously they separated their vision board. So the first thing that I'm gonna start off by doing is the front cover page. On this binder, obviously there's like the slip in the front. The cover here, I want it to just be everything. I'm gonna fill it with all the categories of goals in one and try to make it very cute, but also realistic of my goals and things that I wanna achieve. And then I'll dive into like all the different other categories and separate it all and then include the affirmations and everything like that. In my vision board right now, I have a lot of my health goals as well as career goals. I think being a little delusional is definitely good. But anyways, I'm gonna start just like trying to play with it around.
through. It didn't take me that many hours to do, but I went out with my mom, stuff like that. So basically, I'm finally all done doing the first page, the vision board. This is probably gonna be over a couple days process because it's like some effort, you know? It's fun, it's, it's some good time that I'm putting into this. The cover page, a lot of people have done different things. Some people did like chakra symbols and like other different like manifestation things where they didn't actually do a vision board on the front cover. But for me, I wanna look at this and I wanna see my vision board on top of it because I don't even have a vision board right now. Obviously, I'm catering this towards myself, but you do what you like. This this is my vision board. It has a lot of different stuff on it. I'm gonna give you a little tour of mine. Obviously, you could add academic goals, all that stuff into yours. Mine is a bit more towards social media goals. Throughout this year, I wanna obviously focus a lot more on social media. This kind of just shows a bit more of like the vibe that I wanna attain for myself. I also would love to take a trip with my friends. There's gonna be some traveling things definitely on this board. I would love to be able to have the money myself not rely on my parents to be able to pay for that for me but actually be able to take a trip with my friends because i can afford it i want to like go out a bit more i'm usually locked in my bedroom i also put stuff about friends and just evolving my friendships and meeting new people and also the vibes of friends that i want to attract into my life your energy really relies on the people who you hang around i'm telling you if you hang around people with like a low vibration constantly negative constantly like oh i hate where i am i don't want to do anything about it type of vibe you're going to be in that state of mind and that state of reality i also put some like health stuff i want to focus on my personal health not necessarily on just like being skinny because skinny is not equal to healthy i would like to just take care of my body some other little elements that's not necessarily stuff that i need to achieve this year but just if i have that in my mind and it ends by happening it would be cool that it was here it's just like in the back of my head so we're done with the cover page i have to figure out a way to print this because i don't really know how my printer works and then i'm gonna start going into like the individual sections i'm gonna be starting off with mentality i'm gonna try to like find different things like i'm not the best at being artsy so i'm gonna try to like make this look cute and like see how people were organizing each of the words and stuff like that but obviously the photos are going to be the ones that i'm choosing from pinterest start off with that and then i'm going to go into the other categories the other categories i'm going to do are lifestyle then my career physical self physical goals <laughs> but it's only because yesterday I wanted to print my stuff out and the printer wasn't working. And so when my dad got home today, I was like, okay, I need your help. He was on the phone for like two hours to try to get our printer to work just so that I could do this. So I'm very happy that I can finally finish up this book and I actually have all the photos with me. So I have a couple of my pages here. I don't know how many I did. I have seven pages with me that I created. I know that in other videos, people did a lot more, like they separated their goals into multiple different pages and all that stuff. I kind of just narrowed it down and made it so it's something that I'll actually go through every day. Cause let's be realistic, the more pages we have, the less time we're gonna wanna invest in actually looking at these. This is supposed to be like a quick glance, just like how we put our vision boards as our wallpapers or things like that. I'm using the things that I have at my house. Like I didn't go shopping. I'm gonna put all of these pages inside a plastic thing like this but they don't crumple up and look gross at first i was gonna just like take this hole puncher and just like punch a bunch of holes in it and i was like that's kind of sad i don't really want to do that i feel like the photos will definitely last longer and look better if i like preserve them in a thing like this but it looks very blurry i don't know if that's just me at a certain point i definitely want to print something to put in here maybe like my name or something like that for now we're just going to take off this random ugly Sticker. That was really unsatisfying. I really didn't enjoy that. This is gonna be the cover page of my book. Oh my god, okay, it's cute. I like it. You guys can tell me your thoughts, but so far, I really think it's cute. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm actually so excited about it. I don't know why. But I'll give you a tour as I'm like creating it. So basically, I started off with mentality. This book, you could put the randomest, most outrageous, most 
seemingly self-absorbed stuff in it and no one has to see it okay that's why i'm covering some things because some things are just for yourself oh it kind of cut off one of the things i actually just realized now but i know what it says in my mind okay anyways so this is my mentality sheet i added it with a bunch of baddies with a bunch of different quotes or saying that I like. I have stuff like Lily Rose Depp, Megan Fox, people that are really like the vibes that I love. A bunch of quotes that are like, everything works out in my favor, confidence is a mentality, own that shit, the universe is on my side, blah blah blah. I found all these on Pinterest. Took a while actually, but I found a bunch of stuff that actually resonated with me. It's so easy to find so much stuff, but it's hard to find stuff that resonates with you, so take the time and put in the effort. If you don't feel drawn towards it, you're not gonna wanna read it. You're gonna be like, okay, whatever, I don't care. Okay, first one is done second thing so this sheet it goes with the mentality portion on the front i just wrote a bunch of different affirmations i put a little quote here that i liked and i wanted to find a place for but it was ugly there i'm a big promoter of journaling i feel like everyone should be doing it i always tell my parents about it i know that it's hard to convince our parents of things sometimes but i think that everyone would benefit from at least a little bit of journaling i added it here and i was like a goal of mine that I added in this sheet actually was just going to be journaling at least twice a week Sometimes I just lose track of it and I always feel better when I do it So it's kind of just reminding myself of like a little goal and not trying to overstress me and make myself do it every single day Sometimes when my mentality and my confidence is at a low I just kind of like hermit in my room and don't do anything about it and don't want to see anyone Because I even saw this thing it was like you're not doing better You're just like sheltering yourself from everything that can like kind of piss you off And I was like oh my god do I do that every single day and so I wrote something that could help me calm down personally so it can be literally like random stuff I'm just giving myself ideas so that when I'm bored out of my mind I can figure out something else to do because I love my little hobbies and I just wrote like drink tea focus on self-care take a walk take a bath journal color etc and then I added cute little photos like this one little quote I love this quote it says enjoy where you are and that's what I need to remind myself because I'm always chasing something else and I'm never really enjoying where I am in the moment she's done so the next one the prompt that I had was my lifestyle and I was really trying to separate this from my career because I don't know why for me those two really meshed together but I feel like it was such a good thing for my mind to be able to separate the two because I feel like sometimes I just focus my whole life on getting like career goals instead of focusing on different personal things that like will actually bring me happiness so this is what I wrote under it I wrote I'm the creator of my own reality because period I am these were the photos I added I love stuff with friends because I don't know I feel like sometimes I don't put a lot of effort into some of my friendships because I'm focusing on so many other things that I want to accomplish in my life. I'm very ambitious, so I want to just be able to find a balance between the two. I would love to take a trip with my friends if I could afford it. I would like to start making money. I would love to go to fashion shows. If you know anything about me, I love fashion. I love beauty. I love things like that. I even took a trip with my parents to all the fashion capitals, so like Paris, Milan, and London, and I had such a good experience, so one day I would love to do something like that. She's done. The next one is my overall lifestyle or life goals. And this one I'm gonna be showing a picture on the screen just because a lot of them are very personal to me. But the ones that I'm definitely willing to show you, I'm going to be reading them off for you. And this one is just a very basic sheet. I feel like once I started adding photos and other Pinterest stuff to it, it felt like I was making something up. It started to feel like dreaming instead of actually creating a reality. I don't know why. Some of the things I added, because I added a bunch of different things. Drink three liters of water per day. Complete 75 hard. This year I would love to complete 75 hard. I feel like it would be such a challenge for me because I go to the gym for an hour, like one day every month and I'm like dying for the next week. And I'm like, you know what? I want to get myself in shape. And I also want to give myself that mental challenge of like finishing what I started. This year I would love to read 30 books. That's on my Goodreads. That's my goal there but I would like to read one that was non-fiction. I don't like reading non-fiction. Fiction is the reason why I just love reading because it gives me like this alternate universe, but I think sometimes I need to like 
bring myself back to this universe and be like, okay, well, that's great, but what can actually benefit me in my day-to-day -day life? Reduce screen time. I've already been kind of doing that because I started to delete some social media apps off my phone, but since I obviously like posting social media content, it's hard for me to just like delete the app. Upload more consistently on social media. I would like to just like be able to plan my ideas beforehand and also be able to find a balance between school, my social life, my hobbies, and social media. So yeah. So that's some of my goals. Then I did my career. I honestly don't really know what I want to do. I'm very all over the place. I literally have to apply to university and I kind of know what I'm going to go into in school, but that's not really like my calling for my life's passion of what I want to do for the rest of my life. So I took some photos that I just liked. Not all of them necessarily mean I want to do that. Like this one would be like, let's pretend to start a podcast. Not necessarily that I'm like, oh my God, tomorrow this is me manifesting myself making a podcast. I just want a vibe of what I'm into. Out of all the photos, this one in the middle is the one that draws my attention every single time I look at it. It's the one that makes me feel the best when I'm manifesting. And this one in the middle is obviously my goal. And my last photo is my health for this one i just wanted it to reflect me just taking care of myself and putting in time with myself it's all about like self-care last thing to do is just put them all in I also have these dividers okay i tried a bunch of different things the thing is is the photos are bigger than the dividers and that to me is really not cute i think i'm just gonna go without the dividers because like ew well at least we tried okay I'm all done. We ditched the dividers. They're not a part of this conversation anymore. Front cover, she's slaying. First page. I'm so obsessed. Ah! This is probably my favorite thing I've ever created in my whole life. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on how I created it or anything else for that matter definitely just ask comment it down below and i'll definitely answer you so i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys soon